Okay, here is the pool. It has been rendered left to dry and is now ready for the initial coat of the G4 dump seal. You should allow 21 to 28 days for the concrete to dry depending on the environment conditions. If any reinforcement fibers have been used in the actual concrete, these should be sanded or burnt off before any application of the G4 damp seal. The G4 damp seal is a moisture cured one components polyurethane. This forms a non-porous, tough but flexible seal onto the concrete surface. The reason for putting on this non-porous seal is so that most of the resin is not wasted by soaking into the actual concrete, thus causing an undersaturated dry fiberglass mat. The polyurethane coating will also ensure a good bonding between the concrete and the fiberglass laminate. The G4 dam seal can be applied by roller, although best application is achieved by brush. Make sure while you're applying the G4 that you haven't missed any areas, especially in corners and around fittings and fixtures. The fiberglass laminate is prone to delaminate away from PVC fittings, so it's a good idea to coat these with a bonding primer such as MicroSeal T20, also available on our website. Now that the concrete render has been completely covered with the G4, it should take between 60 to 90 minutes to dry, depending on the humidity of the working area. Check the G4 until it dries to a tacky finish. The resin and fiberglass should be applied no longer than 4 hours after this time. It's a good rule of thumb to measure the pool and cut your fiberglass to size before you start the project. This will save you a lot of time and effort during the application. OK, now we're ready to mix our first batch of fiberglass resin with the catalyst provided. A good volume to work with is around about 4 kilos until you become more comfortable with using the materials. The amount of catalyst that you're going to add will be dependent on the temperature of the working environment you are in. The fiberglass and resin should not be applied in damp conditions or in temperatures below 5 degrees C. You will find a catalyst addition chart on all of our polyester resin labels. This chart will give you a good idea of how much catalyst to add depending on how much working time you need with the material. For an example, during this project we were working in a temperature of around 20 degrees C. Here we are adding 1% catalyst as we require a gel time of approximately 30 minutes. The catalyst used with polyester resin is an organic peroxide and is very corrosive to the skin, so ensure that personal protection such as gloves, boiler suit or goggles are worn at all times when using this chemical. Once the catalyst is added, mix thoroughly before the application of the material. Begin by applying your catalyzed resin to the concrete in the area to which you wish to apply your first layer of chop strand matting. Now we apply our first sheet of chop strand mat. We start by applying our fiberglass mat to the corner of the pool and also allow for a 4 inch overlap onto the pool floor. We tailor the fiberglass in place by tearing and not cutting. This will create a frayed edge to the fiberglass which will blend in a lot better than an actual neat cut. Apply a small amount of resin to the top edge of the fiberglass. This will help hold it in place just while you cut off any excess fiberglass matting. It's a good idea to invest in a good quality pair of shears. This will make work a lot easier when cutting through the fiberglass. Continue by applying more resin to the fiberglass matting. Make sure that the fiberglass mat is thoroughly covered with the polyester resin and there are no dry areas. 
Also make sure that the laminate is not oversaturated as this can break down the fibres of the fibreglass mat and cause weak areas in the structure. The fibreglass matting should start to turn transparent. This is an indication of a good level of saturation of the fibreglass matting. As the polyester resin starts to break down the emulsion binder in the mat, the fibreglass will start to become more pliable and easier to work with. 